Okay, and our last video in the search for the baker. So our guys are now in Florence, Florence in Italia, and how they knew to get here was that, let me just think about this, Greg and Zander left a video for the baker on Zander's server, but the baker needed to download a code off the internet to access this video. And within that code that he downloaded, there was a Trojan of a virus, and that would give them access to the baker's computer. So that Trojan virus, it worked, they now have access. So they go snooping around his computer. There's not a lot there, but in the recycle bin, they find a O-Rekening, an account. There's no name, but no address. So Greg goes to this address one night. He sees a man and a woman. The next time, the next day or whenever, Greg and Zander, they go back to the house, but the people are gone. And while they're at this house, Um Dirk, remember Lisa's dad, he pitches up there. And Um Dirk then also becomes a verdachte. Is he the baker? Because he was in the police, he's, he has lots of connections. And why was he at the baker's home? And it's uh, later on when the baker threatens and says that somebody was poisoned. He refers to this. He says to Zander, maybe you were poisoned when you went to this house in Florence and you touched the door handle. But I do go over that in detail. Okay, so um, Dirk is now in Florence. And it's like news, I bad news. Doc is dead and Greg's a pass in the hospital. So the was given that the guy in the holding cells, it has now become true. And Greg's ma asked Um Dirk to come. And those three question marks, please, if anybody can let me know, how did they know that the boys were in Florence? Um, maybe this was left out of the school version of the book because all I can find is that Greg told his mom, I'm going to Istanbul and my phone will be off. How did they know Greg is in Florence? Considering they also have fake passports. So it's not like... Dirk could use his connections at the embassy. Anyway, that's just something that bugs me. So when um, Dirk says, okay, they're going to stay because Greg now has to look for the baker and this changes everything. The fact that Plunk was left behind in Florence, when um, Dirk needs to look for Plunk because his daughter Lisa is so lief for your maniki and, and, and. Um, at one stage, Greg goes to the Academia it's like a gallery museum he, there by the David statue. And Greg sees, in inverted commas, because he doesn't actually see his face and he doesn't realize it at the time, but he has a, an interaction with Baker and Valkyrie in Florence in this academia gallery. And they have that whole thing about the perfexia, the unperfexia, how the marble with the David statue, there's the page, go if, if you need that. Um while they are in Florence, that's with the, the third pucky that Zander gets a delivery. It's the pistol in a teddy bear that Zander, he bought it up the donkerweb while they were still in Istanbul. And they had it forwarded to um, Florence. And because they've, with the Trojan virus, they have access to the baker. They look at his webcam of Rekenar camera and they see this cathedral outside a window. And the guys were sitting at a coffee shop, so they ask a man in a coffee shop, do you recognize this cathedral? And he says, yes, it's the San Giorgio Maggiore, which is a kerk of a church in Venice. So that's how the guys land up in Venice. Right, and then what happens in Venice? So Greg now starts to think, what if Ayla's dad is the baker? And we already did that for Dachte when we talked about Ayla. And what if Zander is busy with the social engineering attack on Ayla? Maybe he, you know, planned to meet her at that Freedom House conference and maybe that's all, you know, Greg's second attack on Ayla. He's using Ayla to try and get to the baker, who maybe is Ayla's dad. So Greg confronts Ayla op the Rialto Brug. He says, is your dad the baker? And um, they kiss and then Zander finds them and he says, oh, why are you kissing my girlfriend? Are you getting me back for Jeffrey's Bay? And that's where he explains the whole thing about Jeffrey's Bay, where Greg thought 
Zander had um, it like kissed his girlfriend, Greg's girlfriend, Nicole. But I think it's in the Ursig video. Zander was in the passage outside Nicole's bedroom because he'd actually been snooping on Greg's dad's computer in his study to hack his air miles. And Greg uh, Zander then explains the whole Prometheus story, which is done in the Symbols video. I think we, um, Zander says he's like Prometheus because he stole, he wanted to do a good thing um, like Prometheus, but now he feels very guilty about the social engineering attack and what it's done to Greg's uh, sin. Um, then Greg, because remember they have access to the webcam, and at one stage then Greg sees the baker's face on the webcam, doesn't realise him, doesn't recognise him. This um Dirk later, he recognises that it is the baker is Sebastian Stadler. Then they go into that whole Taylor Swift in the facial recognition software. So you can go and read about how it worked with Taylor Swift. So what our heroes do is they take screenshots, Fanny Baker sich a webcam, and then remember they had that photo, Fanny San Giorgio Maggiore Kark. So they kind of check which angle, where it could have been taken from, and they choose that area that, that sort of coincides with the camera angle of the church photo that they got off the webcam. So the plan is that Greg, Dirk and Ayla, they walk around with cell phones and Zander stays by the laptop and he looks at this facial recognition program and they see, you know, as they're walking around recording video feeds of all the people walking around there because maybe the baker's somewhere in the area. But then Greg needs to go and fetch a power bank. His cell phone runs out of battery. He has to go back. I think it was an Airbnb they stayed at in Venice. He has to go back. And as he's there, the computer pings because there's been a match now. Oh, yes, Greg hides the cell phone there near a bridge. That's right. Here we go. I've got a picture. There we go. Um, so, dad, is buddy, the Ponta della Paglia. That's where Greg sit here. And he, he left the cell phone there. He could see the bridge of size, and then this was the Quinn and Clicketana where the whole showdown is. And you can see there's the canal where Greg and, sorry, Dirk and Ayla must have come on the canal. And then eventually they, remember, they fled in the side canal into the Grand Canal like a snake's head. Gosh, so many snakes. Okay, so I've interrupted myself. Um, 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 um. Greg needs to fetch a power bank from the Airbnb, so he leaves the cell phone there close to the Ponte della Paglia. Zander grabs the pistol. He and Greg goes back to where Greg left the phone, and the phone is weg. But there's a very helpful smos, uh, a vendor, by a little stall, and they ask him, did you see a cell phone? He says, yeah, somebody took it. He went that way. And he very kindly puts a cap, a pet, Okay. It's not a turtle deer. He puts a pet, a cap, up Greg's cop. So then Greg sees Plunk. Um, and Plunk has the phone that Greg left. And Plunk did type a message on this phone to tell Greg, this is a lock fall. This is a, a trap. But Greg didn't see it until it was too late. So, arme Greg, jy kan, ach, arme Plunk. Jy kan sien, hy is gemartel. He's been tortured. He's still wearing the same clothes as Istanbul. He's got a blue eye. There's blood by his mouth. And Plunk says they must follow him to the Quinnenklicke Taina, the Royal Gardens. So in the Royal Gardens, there is Valkyrie Baker. And now all those other background about Rian Trollope and Eitskot Kral, all that stuff, we've already discussed. But all those stories come out now. And how it was Doc and Chris that wanted the Sanders dad dead and all those sorts of things. Um, Ayla and Um Dirk then also come driving, floating along on the canal. Um, so everybody's been caught. And then the baker says, Imant has been poisoned with a substance like this paraoxon. And then he says, oh, Zander, maybe it was you when you touched the door handle in Florence. Because Zander then gets a panic attack. Remember, he gets these angst anfalle when you talk about his dad. 
And Ayla's taught him like, you know, or he's taught himself to focus on things to try and get. So as he's getting this panic attack, Greg and we all think it was Sander being poisoned. And the baker says, or oh, Greg, maybe it's you were poisoned that, with that cell phone, by the Ponte de la Paglia. Um, but of course, it was actually that very helpful vendor at the stall, that cap that he put on uh, Greg's cup. That's where the poison was. Because remember in Project Coast, they put the poison on the clothes and it would be absorbed with through your skin. Um, or the baker says, Plunk, maybe you were poisoned when we gave you water. Remember we kept you, or said your anchoak, held you captive in the solder. Solder is an attic. Or Dirk and Ayla, maybe you got the para, the, well, the poison when you touched a tourist pamphlet. So that's all the question marks. Because at some stage, we don't know who's been poisoned. We all think it's Zander, but it's just a panic attack. So in the symbols we discuss, Valkyrie, you know, her name comes from the Nordic. I'd say Norse. Is it Nordic? What's the difference? But anyway, the Norwegian, the, the Nordic Nordic um, uh, mythology, she was this uh, uh, female goddess of war decided who lives and who dies. Because she now has this debehandling, the injection, the atropine, that will help with this paraoxon-like substance. And as I said, you're page 290. Valkyrie is definitely the baker's wife. And then just as we think this is the end, Zander to the rescue. So he's used ransomware. It's, you know, where you get a, the hackers, they lock your computer. And so Ali Rekenor, any baker's, uh, mm, I went too quickly here. Any baker's uh, lab, there should be lab is gesloot. So, all the computers are locked. And usually these hackers do that because they want money or Bitcoin. Zander says, I don't want money or Bitcoin. Ek soek gerechtigheid, which is justice. And like Alexander the Great, Zander is the one then that chops through this Gordian knot of evil Fanny Baker. And I say, that's not all. Um, the docks were, um, yeah, I'm a bit fuzzy on this. But my understanding is, so there's a virus that, <laughs> sorry, um, Zander has access to the Baker's and Norfolk and the Baker's latest research. And the Baker is like, oh, oh, no worries, it's encrypted. And Zander says, no, I've broken the encryption because the password was Scott Kral, which was the name of the farm where the Baker grew up. And this research, again, it gets very complicated it's about human brain control in babies. That's as much as I hope you need to know. And Zander says, hy gaan hierdie naforsing, all this research he's going to send to the media and the authorities if the baker doesn't release them. So of course they all get released and that's when the baker makes that admission and they ask, why did you have to kill my dad in such a cruel way? And the baker says, because that's how I would kill my dad if I could. And then Zander shoots the baker. And he says, this is for my dad. And he shoots them. So arme Zander het nou ook blood on his hands. En dan eindigt het. So Gregola, they all escape. Valkyrie disappears. And then as they exit this canal, I suppose, she rams into them with her speedboat. And they all fall in the water. And there's bullets that hit the water, and Arama Plank is gone, he's been shot dead, and then the newspapers in South Africa report that Greg Owen was found dead, and how could they make such a mistake? Because of the transponder, which again I'm fuzzy about, surely they would just take fingerprints and realize that it was Greg Owen, or Plunk, and not Greg Owen, but anyway, I don't even know, yeah, any, yeah, let me stop there. And then it's the epilogue where Greg again visits his dad in jail and his dad says, you don't have to visit me anymore. I absolve you. But Greg says, you know what? I will come and visit because your dad's your dad. The epilogue. Yeah, page 309. 308, 309. You can briefly read through that. But hopefully that is all you need to know about Donkerweb in a nutshell.